Hello beautiful people, welcome to Kitengelara Beach Week, where quality is served. My name is Mary Mpayo, a young rabbit farmer. We are located in Kajado, Kitengela. For this video today, I'm going to tell you why we choose rabbits over any other livestock. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Kitengela Rabbit Week, Instagram, Kitengela Rabbit Week, TikTok, Kitengela Rabbit Week. Stay tuned. So why to consider rabbit farming over any other farming? It's because rabbit farming do not require large space for you to put. Right now in Kenya there is an increase in population. Only rabbit farming can require little space to put. For example, for this cage, for the length it's only a few inches. For the wing, just a few inches. Height, just a few inches. For the uh, rabbit cage, ideally it should be a self-cleaning cage. You can see here on the base, it should be as uh, the droppings of the rabbit should go down. The rabbit should not stay with its droppings. For the rabbit cage, the height and the length of the wing should be cubical because the rabbit needs to have movement. It should be able to stand, it should be able to run in the, in the cage. Uh, another thing is because uh, rabbit uh, urine and rabbit droppings should be collected. That is why we have this uh, base here which is meshed so that you can collect the urine and the droppings. If you decide to put rabbit, this is the ideal look of the rabbit uh, house. For the rabbit house, it should be well ventilated so that the light and the air can circulate inside the house. The rabbits need uh, adequate light and adequate fresh air to enable them uh, not to get diseases, not to get sick. And also, uh, the location of the house should be a very peaceful and quiet environment. Rabbits require peace and quiet, not like any other animal, they, they are usually very silent animals. The other reason why we should consider rabbit farming is because rabbits give us rabbit urine. Here, rabbit urine is usually very high in ammonia and nitrogen. For the ammonia, the smell that it has, it's good in our farms because we put it as pesticide. The little parasites that eat on your plant's leaves will not be able to reach the plant when you spray it with a uh, rabbit urine. So the rabbit urine, when you use it to your farm, you dilute it with water before use because it's very strong. The uh, ratio in which you dilute it is usually 1 is to 2. 1 liter of urine and 2 liters of water. For the, here, I'm going to show you how we collect our rabbit urine. So for the rabbit urine, the, our cages are usually self-cleaning cages. The rabbit urine uh, drops into this uh, 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 sheet here, which we collect through this pipe. It comes up to here. This is an example of how we do collect the rabbit urine. So the rabbit urine, when you're selling it, it should be sieved clean from all the other droppings. There is no wastage. You don't have to waste any of the rabbit urine. To make sure that it is clean and make sure before storage you seal the rabbit urine. Tightly seal because uh, sealing it make, makes the ammonia build more. Another reason why we consider rabbit farming is because rabbits give us one more. The rabbit manure is usually very good composite manure. The rabbit manure give, uh, is usually very high in nitrogen, sulfur, uh, calcium, and phosphate. The rabbit manure, you will collect it by building the self cleaning cages, which the droppings are we collect it by cleaning the cage. This is how I'm going to demonstrate how I do clean my rabbit cage. The rabbit cage ensures that the rabbits do not get diseases because when the cage is dirty or the, when the rabbit stays with its droppings it's most likely to get sick because of the uh, parasites
Another reason why we consider rabbit farming is because rabbits have the best mothering ability. For a rabbit, its menstruation period is usually 30 days. Within 30 days, this rabbit has already given birth. That is approximately 6 kids or 8 kids. This rabbit, uh, usually, the rabbits mature at 4, four months. By four months, the rabbit is ready to be sold. Another reason why we consider rabbit farming is because rabbits are very adaptive creatures. They are able to deal with any weather temperature. When it is extremely hot, the rabbit is able to maintain the required body temperature. When very cold, the rabbit is able to curl itself and maintain heat to recreate its body temperature. Another reason why we consider rabbit farming is because of the rabbit meat. Rabbit meat is very nutritious and I'm going to tell you some of the advantages that rabbit meat has into our health. Rabbit meat is low in cholesterol content, which is recommended for patients with both heart and kidney challenges. Rabbit meat is rich in uh, also uh, protein content, which is easily digested and assimilated in our body. The other reason is because the rabbit meat is uh, rich in vitamin B12 which is very important in metabolism, function, and the formation of the red blood cells. Rabbit meat is very rich in vitamin C, which is essential in our body immune system. Rabbit meat is rich in both calcium and phosphorus. It is essential for both teeth and bone formation. Rabbit meat uh, is usually very rich in potassium and it is essential for aiding in waste removal and maintaining normal blood pressure and improving the nerve system. Rabbit meat is the cleanest meat we know because rabbits are raised high above, above the ground and usually rabbit feeds on only pellets and hay. Another reason why we consider rabbit farming is because rabbit farming has solved unemployment here in Kenya. An example is the uh, feed manufacturing industry. They sell to farmers the feed, which is an income generating source to them. Another thing is like the rabbit equipment, like uh, these rabbit pots. People make them and sell to farmers, which is an income generating equipment to them. Another thing is the rabbit itself to the farmer. The rabbit gives the, rab the farmer uh, rabbit meat, rabbit manure, rabbit skin which is all income generating equipment. And uh, again, an example of this farm, it needs a farm manager. For the farm manager, you will be able to be employed in this farm and it will be a source of income to them. And thank you so much for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed uh, learning with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you next time. Thank you.